Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have a new video, and this video is going to be really weird. Some of you might have been expecting something like this, but probably not. Um, this is going to be about an MMO related to Kaya Online, which is an intellectual property that some of you may be familiar with. And I'm going to go actually, just like I said, this is going to be weird. I'm going to actually jump back into an old video and show you what's going on. This is something that I whipped up over a couple days once in the past. Guy Online is basically, think of it like a 2D uh, dress-up game. Think of it similar to like Neopets in a way. I don't know why this is lagging. Anyway, so you can see there's this 2D character represented by like a plane and it's walking around in 3D space. I'm sorry, for some reason when I'm recording the YouTube video skips. It's very odd. But you can see that and, you know, kind of gives a Paper Mario feel, I thought. Let's go ahead and pause that. There's some music on it. And so, to talk a little bit about what I'm about to show you, first I have to talk about what I've been building. I've been building, um, for a little while, I've been building um, an HTTP based microservice backend for MMOs general MMO usage, because I wanted to build an MMO. You know, I do reverse engineering for World of Warcraft Fantasy Star Online. I'm sick of uh, working with you know, other people's ideas, um, because reverse engineering is, you know, that's a whole other topic. Anyway, I've been building those. You know, I've got all of these things running. Go ahead and close them, show you that. So basically, I've go ahead, I've went ahead and I've combined I've combined this sort of project that I was building, which was, you know, just basic services you'd need for any MMO. Most MMOs are going towards, most games actually, are going for uh, HTTP backends for anything that's not real time so I thought I'd do that too. So, I've got that running now, and I whipped up a little title screen here, it's very simple, and I've got Fiddler running, HTTP proxy, so we can actually see what's going on. Oh, I might have cleared that a little too late. Anyway, so, you know, we've got some service discovery. Very basic feature. Uh, we can log in. That should show up. And it's going to query for characters. And we get a character called Hello Kitty GitHub. In fact, that's my name on guy online now. It used to be I'm a kitty cat, but that was just embarrassing to say. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can see this character here. Now, if we actually click this button, um, take a look at the network, we're actually querying the guy's CDN as well as uh, profile data to pull in, you know, the image of guy online, the profile. And to show you that this is no smoke and mirrors, this is a legitimate, I'm going to go ahead and change my appearance. Go ahead and save that real quick. All right, so that's saved. If I click this button again, actually, even though you should probably cache it, but you actually get the updated uh, new version. So you know, so combined with uh, this this concept here that you can see, where you're moving around in 3D space, you know, you've got proper lighting, you know, you've got control, you've got the animation of the player. Uh, combined with this setup with authentication login with recent MMO backend services I've built, and then combine that with GladNet 3, which I don't have a demonstration for you yet, which is a networking library that I've built for emulation, but it also works for non-emulation, and that's going to be used for real-time. Combine all of those things, and you have a prototype for an MMO uh, for Guy Online, and so I'm going to go ahead and build that next part, because that's the part you probably want to see. You probably want to see, you know, Someone enter the world, walk around, you know, see some other people walking around, you know, some basic stuff like that. And so, I'll be go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and be doing that very shortly. So, wow, this was a very long video, and I tried to go as fast as possible, but you know, there was just so much to talk about. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know, post it down in the description. I'll have a link to the previous guy online Unity 3D video as well down there. And so, yeah, that's... 
what I'm building. I don't know if it's a good idea, but that's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.